Today, we talk about... Are you a big travel fan? Um, well, fan? <laughs> you like travel? <laughs> what, what is this, you Tinder? Do you travel? travel? Yeah. <laughs> Do you love life? I feel like every guy <laughs> I see on an online dating app is has a picture of him like traveling and it says, what's the most fun? Oh, like, well, you guys are both... <laughs> I'm 22. I'm not... Well, I that. So you're single? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I um, that out. <laughs> but wait, you're, yeah. so you're single, so are you on like all the dating apps? Which a is couple. your favorite? Um, I feel... Like a little pretentious because I deleted my Tinder. Yeah, you're okay, Cupid. Like, no, I don't have okay, Cupid. I think that one costs money. My cousin hooked me up with him. Well, you had a bit about okay, Cupid. I do have an, yeah, my roommate. You did that last night where you're well, like, actually, okay, Cupid. I wrote that, I wrote that on um, that Thursday because uh, my roommate was like, oh, I hooked up my aunt with uh, her husband. On, I told her to try okay, Cupid. I was like, okay, well, I'm not looking for a husband right now. Like, okay, Cupid is so last resort. Like, that's like, oh, oh okay, Cupid. Yeah, like, okay, Cupid. Fine. fine I give up. Yeah. Like, let's really see funny. what this baby with a bone arrow can do. I love, a good, it's a good bit. I love that really bit. Yeah. I mean, it makes me happy because it's not like, because I think that just because I'm kind of a newer comedian, a lot of my jokes are like, ah, dick in my mouth. And I'm really happy that that one doesn't. I think that's just how new comedians are. Like, you yeah. talk about what you know and you know about dicks. No, but, but I like the okay, okay, Cupid joke because it's, it's, it's a take on a, a woman's perspective of dating, yeah. but not being like, um, to like talking about sexual sex. or yeah exactly oh, keep this part I love this right <laughs> no, no I, I think it's a funny I think it's a really funny bit I agree uh, you were talking about Hinge what's what's Hinge like oh so Hinge is why like, is that your favorite it's well I, I like it because it's uh what you do when you start out is it, it makes you answer questions okay and they're like some of them are funny you know, are some you of from are Connecticut. No, no. Well, it's not that weird. I'll show you. Are we I'll show you Canadian my like my profile right now. Because uh, so I've, I've had enough. This is a dating app. Yes, this is a dating app. So this is this is, this is my profile. Um, oh so God! I, I put the stand-up comedy first. Yeah, I can imagine. So I look like I have a first. Because other, I mean, otherwise I just look. No, because like, you, know, you know what I look like. Otherwise, well, I look like I'm just one of those girls who's like, actually, show great, me your that, dog. That's a great photo of you. Thank. thank but the uh, the the stand-up is actually probably a great way to go because guys will know you're going to be like a little sarcastic. Well, actually, mouthy. let me tell you something right now <laughs> that so this is bad. Uh, Do you say mouthy? Yeah. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I um, someone said, <laughs> a little mouth. Yeah. Oh, little feminist. Oh, okay. You want to be able to vote? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you think you can drive? Yeah. That's why yeah. they only let you drive a Prius. <laughs> They're like, give her something that doesn't go forward. Shh, you'll startle her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump out this open window. Right I, now. I said that without without even thinking about it. <laughs> like a little little mouth. Mouth. Little mouth. Wow, my God. <laughs> okay. You can leave. Well, someone. Well, this is, well now yeah, I know. Now I know. We can wrap this up. I yeah. know that you're just gonna agree with me. Oh, and I just did. So when I, when I was using your bathroom, actually, I saw it, someone messaged me <laughs> on Hinge, and well, I messaged them first because Hinge said we should meet. So I said, Hinge says we should meet. So hello. And then the guy responded saying, Not gonna lie, expected a better opener than that based on your profile, but hello. Uh, the classic Nick. But now I'm realizing that I said Hinge says we should meet, but I spelled it M E A T. <laughs> What? So that's why. That's oh, probably why. Okay, yeah, that's, oh, that's what you wrote. Yeah, yeah I wrote. I meant to say M E E T, but yeah, he probably just thinks you're stupid. <laughs> he wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> I know a few guys a little bit older than you, but like they all used to the dating apps and everything. Mm-hmm. It seems like it's very like uh, the culture is like um, being funny. Yeah. In the first like couple. Well, how well, are you gonna say okay. something being clever? I have a lot of opinions about dating apps because okay, so are you guys familiar? You probably aren't, but there's a there's a dating app. Are. Thing. There's somebody, there's a girl on Twitter, or yeah, it's Twitter, and she posts funny things that men say to women or come back. It's called oh, She yes. Raised Dogs. Okay. And that is funny because, like, it's basically just making fun of men who say stupid shit. And I submitted one the other day, it was really funny. Like, this guy said, like, I can lick my elbow and I can F star, 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 your B, star, 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 star. And it was like, okay, well, that doesn't even make sense. Breast? But, yeah. <laughs> no. no, well, somebody, yeah, somebody no, is like, I can, I can flag your bingo. Like, anyway, um, so like yeah, and that's funny, but like I think that a lot of, I think a lot of women on Tinder and stuff like this like, just are out there to troll men a little bit because so. men will be they're, like they're just bored. They'll be like, hey, you look pretty, and then the girl will be like, oh, like so you didn't notice my personality, and then they'll screenshot that and put it on Twitter and be like, oh. all men are trash, and yeah. I'm like, okay, as a fellow woman, I have to say like that's that wasn't creative, <laughs> and. Like, okay, yeah, most of the time the guys guys say stupid shit on Tinder all the time, which is so weird. This happened to me and my friends. It's always like, you look like you have a big butt. And it's like, why 
why would why would you think what does that mean <laughs> like, i could not imagine dating in this day and age yeah well, but no. funny enough he uh, he made a tinder profile as a joke and it was just one no profile just one picture of steve harvey and his mustache like that was that was yeah it. how many matches you probably got a lot of matches <laughs> oh, like ha, ha, no. you're so funny yeah, you have no idea <laughs> this is like four years ago too this is like tinder first started. but you never told us why is hinge your favorite oh so okay so it forces you to answer questions so when you when someone else answers the questions like they like the other person has to say so like Let's just go on right now. So like, let's see. Okay, so Steve like had to so Poor just, guy. I know, <laughs> hi Steve. I'm gonna match, oh, oh, we already, we already have. She's like, wait, okay, let's do something. I'm dating him. So Gabriel, okay. oh, oh sexy subway pit. Stupid name. No, you don't, but like, it, Gabriel's a stupid But like, name. I'm a girl, so I'm judging this. I'm like, okay, so he obviously put this through a filter, so he's gay. Um, but <laughs> like, it says, um, no, you weren't, you voted for Trump. But um, anyway. Uh, it says, I will again. <laughs> it says, I won't shut up about, and so it says, like, stuff, like, he, you know, you can picture him, and then it says his age, his height, uh, where he lives, if he drinks, uh, if he smokes, if he smokes weed, if he does drugs. These are all the yes or no questions? Yeah, so basically it says, like, uh, drinks, answer? sometimes. Okay. Pathetic. <laughs> smokes, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> weed, yes. Pills, sometimes. <laughs> it's a pill symbol, so it's well, not like, it's is. not like, it's it, like, it would be way like. Do I need to bring my own needles? Like, pill sounds bad. If it was something like, if it, it just said like, mom, if there's a pill symbol. What if you like bash pills? Like, what? I'm taking out your profile. Yeah, it's like, no, that's oh, a weird thing to do. Like, oh, I'm hot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, eh. So, sorry, baby. Sometimes. But then it says his job, it says where he went to school, it says his religion, it says where he's from. It oh, says, okay, Nazi, didn't you thank her? So, and it, and it says he's liberal, so I'll probably be liberal. Yeah, there you go. And then it has like pictures, and it's always like, it's, it's honestly, like politics. It's basically yeah. like I feel like it's uh, an Instagram feed. It's yeah, or like a like a presentation for a business. Uh, you know, it's yeah. like, it's like ah, meet website. Gabriel. Uh, here it is. You know. So because you just moved to the city, are you looking for like a relationship or like a hookup? Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm honestly so I'm just doing it. <laughs> I'm just kind of like doing it because it's fun. Like I want to see. And no, no, someone no, happens no, to no. fall in love with. But me. that's that's what you're. So okay, so you're you're at the. You just came to the city. Yeah. And you're just trying to figure out what's, what you want to do. Like. What is, again, what, what is it about this that's yeah. superior to Tinder? Or well, okay, well, like, Tinder, what, is, I, I, Tinder was like, mm, the goal of this, uh, Hinge is advertises like a, like, date. you can meet a guy you can date on okay. kind of app. Um, and Which, I mean, I like it. I like to, like, you know. I, I, it's all the same guy. Well, no, but Hinge is like, it is. But Hinge requires more. The thing is, like, even Bumble, like, doesn't require you to answer questions. So your Bumble profile could be like, whatever. Rob, uh, I like motorcycles, and then like nothing Some else. Had, like uh, this. Rob experience. So the question. Well, is no, 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 actually, no, no. I said Rob on purpose because I was like, "What's the name of a guy I haven't fucked?" Hi, mom. So these, uh, so these questions are just for setting up your profile. Yeah, questions. yes. Okay, it's yeah. not like you're required to ask each other questions. Actually, I heard him. And the, oh, and the other cool thing is like, so you can like something that they said, or you can like their picture. So like if I won't so says I won't shut up about shut up about music and songs that actually mean something to me. Okay. So you'd be like, okay. I think you're picking up a beast. Yeah. Move on. Oh, it's my, wait, no, no, this is funny. My most rational fear: bees. Da da da. I do not fuck with bees. Whoa. Yeah, he's, oh, okay. he's trying hard. Um. He that's says, cool. I, was like, I mean, Manny, Manny Watts and Hornets. Those fuckers are mean. I can't no, no, he's, he's definitely like uh, then maybe he meets he's, a girl. He's trying to be funny. But then maybe yeah. he meets a girl who's super into I'm, bees. I'm just gonna not. Okay, okay. Oh, here's another guy. Too Pet peeves. Classic chopsticks. All right, this guy sounds like he's he's trying to get. Yeah, no. Well, that's why. Well, I feel like your generation and your age with all these dating apps and everything. Guys have to be like super clever and cliche like, all the time. Um. Classic yeah. chopsticks. That's not a fucking. How can you be clever? Well, thing? okay. No. So what I what I run into a lot is like, okay, this is like, it's like what I would donate a liver for. It'll say something like that, and someone would people will either say like. Or no, no, that's a bad example. A good example is like I can't stop talking about, and people, everyone says the office. It's like, oh yeah, I like the office. I like the office. What I'm looking for, a girl who likes the office. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, every friends, fucking girl likes. Yeah, yeah. Right. and then oh, it could be like what I'm looking for. And so there's two types of guys. There's guys who are like, I'm looking for just someone who wants to hang out and like you know sometimes go out to eat, and maybe you know uh, go to bars with me or something. And then the other type of guy is like, my keys, I lost them last week. <laughs> and so like so they're they're. That yes, there are guys who are like trying to be funny, like oh, my keys are lost on, but then there's guys who are just so oblivious to like the humor side of dating. Like we're all on a fucking 
we're using this thing that we text our moms with to to, to try to like get laid. Like, I don't think people will and I think that that's funny. No, no. And, and some guys are just like, oh, I really want to find a lifelong connection. I'm like, you're not okay, gonna find that. Okay, but well, that guy is just not for you. It, well, well right. in your mind, because you're a young female, uh, would you think you'll have more success like on a dating app or is meeting somebody random? So in my real life, in, I, in I had. Head, like, do you mean like? Dreams or like, no, 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 like, like, what how, do you think, how do you think it will actually happen? Well, like, like, how, do I think I'll, how do I think I'll meet like my actual husband or yeah. whatever? Yeah. Um, well, I've met, so when I was working at a bar, I met um, a surprisingly small amount of guys. I really thought I was going to get hit on more because like, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not five. Like, like, come on, you're drunk. Like, it's just tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm fucking, like, I'm Ashley, baby. Like, are my boobies not big enough? Like, I really. Um, so I thought I was gonna get hit on more, but I didn't. I mean, I did, but like some of my guys who like work at CBS, and not like because they're aspiring fighters, oh. like because they. <laughs> we gotta get to the yeah, yeah. more yeah. green. Yeah, yeah, I'm a ball green girl. girl. Well, I'm more asking, like, in your mind, as a, as, as a younger woman, do you think it's the dating apps where you'll meet a man, or be it just like a random kind of exploitation? I think it's fifty fifty. I'm at a point where I've graduated from college, so I'm not, you know. I'm not saying that. I'm not just in your mind. In my like. Like like, what do you think is more feasible? Do you think? Dating out for the future, or do you think it's still going to be like the whole? Uh, no, I legitimately think it's like, like I think that by the time that I'm married and I have children, I think that my children are going to be in class with half people that their parents met online and half people that their parents met at college, at a bar, or like at work or some some other way through friends. Which would you prefer? Oh, in person for sure. So like um, right now, just meeting. Yeah, somebody. because I feel like I feel like on a dating app, it's like a uh, there's always yes, yeah, it's like a little like I feel like. We both are here because we also like, like I don't feel like it's as real because it's like we both want a relationship and that's kind of why we would hang on to each other as opposed to like meeting someone in real life and like actually connecting, connecting with them and, yeah. and liking them for them and not just liking them because you're lonely. Right. And um, yeah. And uh, there's a feeling of business proposition. Yeah. And I mean, like, not that I have friends that have no, no, married people. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that, like, sometimes it works out really well for people. And, like, because uh, I, I used to have friends that would be like, oh, you don't want to date a guy you meet on a dating app. And I'm like, well, I'm the kind of, like, I'm a person on a dating app. So I don't, I don't think that they're, like, I, I don't think that everyone on dating apps is, like, scummy people. Like, I think that there's just normal people who are just like, well, let's give us a try. Like, yeah. I, I think, am single. I should just download it. I think it's the future because it's just all about efficiency. I think it's great that you can have certain interests and you might have met Gabriel or person X at- <laughs> Hey, Gabriel. <laughs> you might have met this guy at some at some place and maybe something about him in real life because you don't have all, access to all this information. You would be like, oh, I'm into this. And then you spend all this time and then you find out he's into bees and hates chopsticks and you're like, oh God, I just wasted eight months on this guy. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> with these apps, it's like you we all that shit out right out of the way. You get into okay, are we gonna be a good fit or not? And then you well, actually, I think the opposite because I think like if uh, you meet in real life, you might meet somebody that you totally connect with and stuff. You wouldn't have originally swipe right on. That's true. That's true. Because like there's things that got I feel like the guy he's like pills sometimes. I was like what the fuck, black, whatever, get out of my sight. But if I met somebody in real life that I really liked, thought was really cool, when we were dating for like a few months, he's like, look, I gotta tell you, I'm a person. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I stick, I'd broken up my butt. I'd be like, okay, look, that's weird, but like, I like you this much. Well, that's not happen at all. But like, <laughs> like, my point is like, I think that sometimes dating apps, I guess, think, ah, oh, no, like too quickly, which can be bad. Cause then, at the, and it's all a picture. The reason I like Hinge is because you can see, they force you to see somebody's personality. Yeah. Like Tinder is like, uh, boat juice, <laughs> guy holding a fish, fuck that, no. Well, um, I think uh, and just to interject, sorry. No, okay. Uh, again. But, Actually, uh, no, you, you were very polite about it. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. that incredible. No, yeah. uh, no, I think, Amazing! <laughs> no, I, I, no, because I think efficiency is not part of romance or love. It's and just part of sex. Okay. No, 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 efficiency in general, like when you're looking for a partner, I think people want to escape efficiency. Efficiency, like, to, like controls capitalist lives, especially in the US, especially in New York. So, like, that's why I think, like, actual connections with people. Is like way more powerful than being like, okay, let's like get, let's make this efficient. Let's do this. That's why I, well, I don't mean efficient. Like, like, hey, you're this, you're this. No, 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 no. But like, what you saying before? Like, okay, yeah, you're you're not gonna know my quirks. Like when we first start dating, I'm not gonna come out and be like, oh, here are my quirks. Like you mm -hmm. know me, you get to know me, and then you know my quirks. And you I kind of like exposing personally. I like exposing my quirks early because I want to know, do you fuck with? There's me? different. Yeah, there's, there's, there, 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 there's different types of quirks. Well, there's many. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you would want to know what you're getting into with me. Yeah. <laughs> so when I say efficiency, I don't mean like paper mill 
you know, uh, assembly line efficiency. I'm talking about efficiency of like, same way businesses grow much quicker now because you can just yeah, track your time. Yeah, people want to see the idea of a business. If you're working in business all day, like I have to always think about like optimization, efficiency, blah, blah, blah. blah. Sometimes you don't, you don't want that. You want like, the human touch. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm, I'm not saying they're mutually exclusive. I'm just, that's the thing. I, I feel like you're associating the word efficiency with machine, AI. No, no, that's why, but that's why I'm associating in general with like the dating apps and all that stuff. Because it, it focuses on efficiency. It does, but maybe you're thinking more back end. I'm thinking more like, you know. No, it really does. Because one time a guy gave me his number and then I texted him. I made him wait. I gave him a, I, he was like, what's your Two number? Two days later. But I mean, no, 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 I really did it because he was like, he was like flirting with me and I was totally into him. So he's like, well, can I get your number? I was like, and he was drunk. So I was like, um, okay, I'll give you my number if you can answer. Like, here, I said, here it is. And I gave him in a lot, like, extreme, like, a really extreme math problem that led to my phone number. You're like, uh, so you have to go to the thousand. So, uh, to go to the thousand, 60 minutes are in an hour. How many employees can you fire? <laughs> and he was like, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. So I'm sorry, I'm not having a brain for And I was really impressed at the fact that he actually texted me, like, 20 minutes later. I was like, and I knew he was like, drinking. I was like, oh. This boy was hanging out with his friends, and he was like, "Hold up, guys! I, I got to do this math problem." Like, like I was like, "Okay, cool. Like, all right." He's getting drinks. Cool. Hey, math buddies, you never, get a drink. Never yeah, texted me. I was like, "Oh, come here." I just sneak under the table. You come in. You're like, oh, hey. <laughs> like, hey. No, don't ask. Don't ask these guys. Oh, this uh, so I'm so fucking. <laughs> 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 